Okay, today we are going to be showing you how to calibrate the Spear Scientific Benchtop Meter 860031 and how to handle the error 13 message. First of all, I want to point out that we are using a probe that comes with this particular benchtop that handles what's called ATC or automatic temperature compensation. If you are not using a probe that does automatic temperature compensation, please follow the instructions in the manual. We are also using standard buffer solutions, and if you're using NIST buffer solutions, please pay note to how we change the different um, features on this benchtop meter. Now, of course, the first thing you'd always have to do is make sure the unit is plugged in and turned on. One of the nice features of this particular benchtop meter is the ability to connect to your computer using a very simple USB port and connection comes with the software and everything that you need to do to connect this benchtop meter to your computer. Okay, so the first thing that we would have to do if you were receiving what's called a P13 message is confirm and the reason why you're receiving this message is because there was an error in the calibration. So what you need to do is see what is this benchtop meter calibrating to? Is it calibrating to standard buffer solutions or NIST solutions? So all you do is hit the set button and hold it, and that enters that allows you to enter into the capability to adjust the different settings in it. These are toggle buttons that go up and down, so I'm going to go up into the buffer solution. Now if I did receive the error 13 message, the first thing I'd have to do is go to P2, hit the min max, tell it to go to yes. Now this is going to reset all my factory settings. And so if there's anything that's being stored on the particular meter, please note those are going to be all wiped out. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Now just to make sure that the unit is cleared, I'm going to hit escape and go back to the very beginning. If you had a P13 message, you should go back to a normal screen such as this. So now I'm going to go in and check and see what is this particular meeting, meter calibrating to. I'm going to hold the set button down. I'm going to go into the P4 setting, min-max. So in this particular case, this meter is being set to what's called custom, which is your standard buffer solutions. If you saw it say NIST, then you know that it was calibrating to NIST buffer solutions. Since we are using standard buffer solutions, we want it to say CUS or custom. Hit min-max, hit escape, and now I'm ready to calibrate. In this case, I'm going to be calibrating first to pH 7. So we're using best practices. I'm going to first clean my probe by dipping it into a little bit of distilled water here. Then I'm going to put it into my first buffer solution and so that I don't contaminate what I'm actually going to be using. I'm going to then put it into this one. Now I'm ready to calibrate the meter. So you can tell that the probe is fully inside my solution. I hit calibrate. I'm going to look at the secondary screen which is there's two screens here. I'm going to hold this down until I get to 7.0. As you can see 7.0 right there. Hit min max. It's going to start flashing and it's done flashing. You hit the escape button. It's simply calibrated to 7.0 as easy as that. Now I'm ready to calibrate to four. So I'm going to take this out, move my two solutions off to the side, I'm going to clean off my probe using distilled water. I'm going to put it inside the first P4, and now the actual solution that I'm going to be calibrating. And the same steps that I went through to calibrate P7, I'm going to go ahead and calibrate. So I'm going to hit the Cal button. If you notice the secondary screen here says 2.0. It's going to go to 4.50. I need to move that down by using the toggle buttons down to 4.0. Now reach 4.0. Hit min-max, let it flash. 
and it stops flashing. Again, you got to be patient, let it do its thing. The ready appears, hit escape. It's calibrated to 4.0. It's as simple as that. And if you have any questions, please refer to your manual.